Rekata poko soto prokoto balada ba. Rekata cross soto paria kata vakata pregede vele de boss. Quicken us, quicken us, quicken us, oh God. Quicken us, oh God. The flesh may be weak, but the spirit is winning. Shekata krete kese kata prakata balada ba. Manda prate kasi karika tosia ba. We want to make contact with spiritual realities tonight. Shekata krete kese kete prakata balada ba ra ba ra ra ba kasi. Imbra kata pras kata pras shekata prakata bela de boko sopra da kata. Manda bas kapra shkari kato sopra kete bara shikata. Empri kato sopra kete bara kato shikari. And by understanding, it is established. Join Apostle Joshua Selman of Eternity Network International as he takes you on a journey into the wisdom of God's Word. It's intimacy, it's partnership, it's fellowship. This is Koinonia. Let's lift our hands and give God praise. In the name of Jesus, we know there is more than this. We ask you to help us tonight by the power that is in the name of Jesus. We are the desperate people. We want more, Lord. We are desperate people. We want more, Lord. Psalms 80, please. I'm going to be praying. Tonight is a prayer meeting. Psalms 80, verse 18, to prepare our spirit. Shiba Katoparato Supratia. The presence of God is strong in this place. There is grace to pray. Psalms 80, verse 18. Let's read it together. One to read. So we will not go back from thee. Quicken us and we will call upon your name you don't just pray because you want to pray there is a grace it's called the spirit of prayer and supplication hallelujah before we start tonight we're going to be crying that quickening you will pray mechanically until that quickening comes are we together so for the next few minutes i want you to blast in tongues and shake every unbelief in your spirit please be serious be serious be serious Go ahead and pray. Quicken us, O God, and we will call upon your name. Inside, outside, those falling on line, go ahead and pray, pray. We can also go. Let's 
Unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Charge your spirit man. Charge your spirit man. Shake away every unbelief. Shake away every unbelief. Man take to prosco to prakata. Shapari ke te ko sombri ke te ka te barakatiaba. Contend for the spirit of prayer and supplication. Shaka ta barakata prake te bere de ka shikre ke te barada bata. Man ta kratos ko to preske te prakashika da barada ka. Shakari ka ta preske te bari ka ko soto presh. Imbra ko tosko manti ka shakari ka tosko priata. Shakata prikete parada supreke di parada balada. Imprekata poko soto prakata balada ba. Rekata cross soto paria kata bakata prake de balada boss. Quicken us, quicken us, quicken us, O God. Quicken us, O God. The flesh may be weak, but the spirit is winning. Shakata prate kase kata prakata balada ba. Manda prate kasi kari katosia ba. We want to make contact with spiritual realities tonight. Jente krete kese kete prakata balada bara 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 kasi. Imbra kata pras kata pras kata prake de bala de boko sopra kata. Manda bas kata pras kari kato sopra ke di bara shikata. Embri koto sopra ke te bara da bara shikari. Oh, 
It's in the name of Jesus. Jesus. It's in the name of Jesus. 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 Jesus.
mocking the grace of God in my life every limitation mocking the power of God in my life I challenge you in the name of Jesus I command that dagon you must bow I command that dagon you must bow I command that dagon you must bow that dagon of joblessness that dagon of poverty that dagon of stagnation oh I command you I command you in the name of the Lord God who I am and whom I serve I command you, I command you, I command you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, if thou shalt say to this mountain not any mountain the mountain has a name you must call it don't say god bless me god favor me no 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 you need to be specific lord i am tired of stagnation in this area mention it and command what you want to do the bible says declare ye that thou mayest be justified lift your voice and pray Rakata Kata command it call it by name poverty i call you by name barrenness i call you by name i command you clear off my path limitation i call you by name i call you by name i call you by name you are a devil I command you to give way. I tell you, mountains are moving. Mountains are moving. They must move. They must move. There is grace tonight. Challenge them. Call them by name. They must move. If thou shalt say to this mountain, if thou shalt say to this mountain, oh, I command you, I command you, I command you that that God, you must leave God's people tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are we together? There is a mystery that exempts men from the plagues and the perils that come upon the earth. It is never in God's idea that you suffer what the world is suffering. Uh -uh. But there is a mystery of exemption. There are certain things that are written judgments. You cannot stop the judgment. It must come. But what happens is that there is an exemption. When the flood was about to come, it told Noah, build an ark. This flood, no one can stop it from coming. But I can exempt you. Build an ark. Are we together? Pharaoh had a dream. A famine was coming after seven years. Nothing will stop it. But there was a mystery. A strategy was revealed to, to Joseph. All through scripture, there have been famines. In Samaria, there was famine, but the prophet was not hungry. There was a mystery that sustained him. When it was time for breakthrough, 
he knew what to do the bible says there was a particular location please hear me hear me you have to convince yourself that you are different don't call what they call conspiracy conspiracy the bible says when men say there is a casting down are we together we want to challenge that spirit that wants to include you in the sufferings that people are going through agreed there's a lot of financial hardship agreed there's a lot of downsizing but do you not know that when men say there is a casting down for you there is a lifting up you've got to believe it pray and say lord i invoke the mystery of exemption upon my life i cannot be part of the tears of men lift your voice and pray it's for your glory pray for myself for my family are you praying koinonia i will give you the treasures of darkness the hidden riches of secret places the treasures of darkness the hidden riches Pray, you're not wasting your time. I exempt myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are two instruments of exemption from scripture. Are we together? The first instrument of exemption is the blood. When the last plague was about to be revealed, he told them, he said, get a lamb. Cut that lamb. Drain the blood. Put it upon your lintel. Whether you have personal faith or not, that's not the issue. Once I see the blood, I pass by. Listen, it was a mystery. As far as the angel of death was concerned, he killed everybody. But when he got to some homes, they were already dead. And so he passed. There was no need killing them. The blood was a sign that someone had died for them. And so the angel passed. And everywhere he did not see it. Let me tell you. There is a mark upon the saints. Please hear me. This thing you call recession and suffering is a spirit. It has eyes. It knows where to go to. Are we together? I'd like you to pray and pray plead the blood for the purpose of exemption upon your life and your family lift up your voice and pray oh plead the blood the blood is a weapon of supernatural exemption from accident supernatural exemption from terrorism supernatural exemption from wickedness supernatural exemption from the assaults of darkness no, 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 no death. No death. It's still a glorious year. Multiplied grace. Influenced by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we praying? The second instrument of exemption is called favor. The second instrument of supernatural exemption is called favor. So every time your enemy wants to triumph, favor is not just for collecting things. It's an instrument for triumph. Lift your voice and say, Lord, let favor exempt me. Lift your voice and pray. The wickedness of men to destroy us. The betrayal of men to mock our God. 
including those close to us they may be family members but he said oh god this is how i will know that you have favored me when my enemies do not triumph over me Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be tired while praying. Don't be tired. Enlarge my territory. Lift your voice and pray. This dimension, this level, take me higher. Take me deeper. Enlarge my coast. Increase my influence. Enlarge my coast increase my influence <laughs> For a child shall die a hundred years old, but a sinner being a hundred years old shall be accursed. And they shall build houses and inhabit them. Listen, when the witch that comes, it makes you labor. When it's time to enjoy, something happens. But he said they shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant fine yards and then they shall eat of them. For as the days of a tree, at the days of my people and my elect shall long enjoy the works of their hands you're going to pray and say lord by the blessing preserve me the blessing upon my life preserves me supernaturally lift your voice and pray preserving you from destruction destroy it not for there is a blessing upon it destroy it not for there is a blessing upon it Destroy it not. Destroy it not. There is a blessing. Destroy it not. There is a blessing. hallelujah hallelujah we are going to pray for nigeria lift your voice and say lord it's time for the prophetic destiny of this nation to arise lift your voice and pray nigeria god's firstborn nigeria the holy land god's land Nigeria, God's own nation. Nigeria, God's own nation. Aparekete soto parada. Lord, we command every spirit. Lord, we command every power. We prophesy to the north. We prophesy to the east. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, stretch your hands to the heavens, speak to the gates, we call our gates peace, we command the spiritual borders of this nation 
to be secured secured from terrorism we command peace upon our walls peace upon our gates Hallelujah. I want us to pray for our families. Many of our family members are confused. No matter how much you succeed in life, if your family members don't catch along, they will draw you back. Are we together? Are we together? We are going to pray. There are many families suffering. You see a family of 10 people, only one breadwinner is a cause. Are we together? is a cause but we are going to pray there are many families that are dead once upon a time they were rich once upon a time they were blessed once upon a time they were walking now they were dead in ezekiel 37 it says son of man can these bones live they were an army they were a family one time but something happened and they died they lost their structure but it's a son of man if you want them to come to life prophesy he said i prophesied as i was commanded the instrument we will use in our families right now is prophecy i like you to prophetically call everything dead in your family they can live again open your mouth and prophesy open your mouth and prophesy i call every dead thing in my family come back to life Come back to life. Every dead business. Come back to life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are coming back to ourselves now to pray. Please listen. The greatest gift a man can have is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. You don't refrigerate it. You don't have to wear suits for it to work. It doesn't need battery. It doesn't need voting. Oh, come on. A man who pays the price to carry the power of the Holy Ghost is a man who will never beg for bread. A man who will never die in complex. Fill me up till I overflow. I want to go. I want to go. Fill me up till I upon my life that will force men to look for me lift your voice and pray place an anointing oh god upon my life place an ability come on pray an anointing that will cause gentiles to come to your light they are kings to the brightness of their rising from heaven an ability that makes me an endangered species an unction 
from the throne room that will make men seek me. Pray, pray, pray. Pray. Shakata prakata rekotosh. Hallelujah. 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 Mark chapter 1, verse 36 and 37. We are going to pray. You must be relevant. It takes a gift, it takes value to be relevant. There is what can make men look for you. You have been looking for men. Stop looking for men. Look for grace. Grow to become valuable. Are we ready? Mark chapter 1, please. Mark 1, 36, 37. He said, and Simon and they that were with him did what? Followed after him. And this is what happened. Next verse. May that be your prophecy in Jesus' name. Go ahead and read it. One to read. And when they had found him, they said unto him, all men seek for thee. Lift your voice and cry. Lord, every potential locked up in me, every gifting, every idea that will make men look for me to come with their treasures, to come with their bounties, every unction, every prophetic anointing, every healing anointing, every teaching grace, every entrepreneurial ability, every leadership ability, every intellectual prowess that will force men to look for me. I cry for a release. I cry for an activation. I'm tired of looking for help. I am tired of begging men. Oh God, activate a grace upon my life. Shabakatata. Pray from your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're rounding up. We're going to sing this song, God's Ability. Sing it with all your heart and I want to prophesy upon you. Are we together? There is an unction that can come upon you. Can come upon your business. Can come upon your academics. Can come upon your life. You may be gifted, but is your gift anointed? It's one thing to be gifted, but it's another thing for that gift to have an anointing. When little brings much, it is anointed. When much brings much, it is scientific. When much brings little, it is demonic. But when little brings much, it has to be supernatural. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. God's ability. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. One more time. Lift your hands, I want to speak over your life. God's ability. That's what you see lifting this ministry. Recession proof, pain proof, stress proof by the unction of the spirit. Rising like an edifice as though Satan does not exist by a mystery. No gate of hell can unravel. What can it be? It's God's ability. God's ability is working in me. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you, but I want to speak some blessings upon you. It says, Early will I seek you. To see your power and your glory in my life as i have seen in the sanctuary 
it's one thing to see the hand of god in a sanctuary help her please and then it's another thing to see it in your life it's one thing to see god move in koinonia but it's another thing to see it work in your life i want to pray for you no no something must land in your life please i want you to believe this with all your heart one of the gifts that god has given us in this ministry is the gift of helpers we never raise a voice to cry without somebody answering and it was a light god gave me it says you will call on man and a nation will answer i want to pray for you there is an unction that makes men come to your aid in the name of jesus right now by the power of the holy ghost in this night of prayer i release that anointing all over the building inside and outside receive that anointing right now receive that anointing right now receive that unction right now the unction that draws help us i tell you fire is falling on people the unction from heaven that calls help us to your life strange help us hallelujah we're still praying we're rounding up this prayer session i want to pray for you brothers and sisters if i tell you i do not know what the favor of god looks like i will be lying to you there is such a thing called the esther anointing god gave me this revelation in 2010 that there is an anointing called the Esther anointing. The Bible says Esther found favor on everyone who looked at her. It was like a cloth she was wearing. Once you look at them, the mantle comes upon you. You must favor them. Listen, there is such a grace. When men make contact for as long as their eyes can see you, something must force resources from them. I pray for you in the name of the Lord God of heaven, by the mystery of favor, I see this falling on people. Receive the Esther anointing. Now, now, now. Receive the Esther anointing. Enough is enough. I prophesy it inside, outside, everywhere, online. Receive the Esther anointing. The Esther anointing. Strange favor. Strange testimony strange favor i prophesy it let it enter your spirit i activate it let it work in your life strange favor strange favor strange favor strange favor strange favor listen if you want to pay your way through life you will die young it's not about being rich it's about being favored it's not all about money there are some things money cannot do are we together favor we are going to pray for speed speed it's a grace that makes men run and do so much in a short time listen there is a cause of retrogression in many families and many lives it's not that they are stagnated but they are moving too slow when a man buys his first car at 70 years it's not a testimony are we together when our parents at 65 are still looking for money to complete lintel is a cost many parents are waiting for their children to build for them but the bible says a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children i want to pray for you there is such a thing as speed there is such a thing as speed some of us are moving god is helping us but if you are to be sincere your pace is slow financially is too slow in every wise ministerially is too slow entrepreneurially is too slow it's too slow are we together 
a woman can give birth to give birth to three children in 20 years is not a testimony are we together you take in five years after your marriage first child seven years later that's when you can take in again nine years later that's when the third one comes you are now using your pension to pay the secondary school fees of, of children it's a cost are we together the lord must send speed to our lives some of us the, the things you plan from january till now not one you have not ticked it one no you need grace there, there is a grace that accelerates men are we together let me share this with you with all humility i went to check my list of the things that i was trusting god would do in my life i found out that certain things that were least for other years god had gone ahead to start doing them and i said lord you are faithful and the lord said if you trust me i can surprise you to the end of the year that's what god said and i believe it for us all we're praying we've been trusting god for a place of counseling you know because of the crowds that come and just last week a family i think they are represented here just came and met us and said they wanted to give us their whole church facility to be using for counseling at no charge that's the gift of men are we together There's a song in my heart. I'm not Yoruba. You know the song? Who knows the song? We need to sing that song. Do you know the song? arrangement for as many buses even if they have to come back multiple times don't be afraid we're going to make sure if it's possible to transport everybody will send you so don't be afraid of time praise the lord it's part of the wicked stupid things that poverty does for people god wants to bless you you are thinking we cause that spirit in the name of jesus focus and concentrate we are blessed enough to take you home don't rob yourself of the miracle are you hearing what i'm saying i want to speak from the depth of my heart you need speed this prayer session is important you need speed in your life some of us you are too slow everything you do is like the spirit of a tortoise you are limping when others are flying the bible says they that wait upon the lord they will renew their strength he said they will mount up with wings as eagles riding through the current i pray for you in the name of jesus christ there is a grace that makes men catch up some of you is not even speed what you need is restoration first before speed are we together hallelujah someone we used to know many years ago we had the opportunity of seeing that person this year and when we saw that person this year it was an apology it was horrible he was looking like a thief after many years do you know it's a terrible thing for you to be growing older and nothing is growing with you the only thing growing in your life is your age it's a cause are we together don't say you are too young to be blessed don't allow the cause that came with your village where the first person to take his head out of the water did it at 40 and they say you are too young too young for what you are not too young for trouble why should you be too too young for blessings when trouble comes people say it's all right but when blessings come they say well, how did this happen i want to pray with, for you let a, a dimension of speed that will make men ask you what are you using i pray for you in the name of jesus christ at the count of three may that unction for speed honestly from my heart let it fall on people lord i'm praying at the count of three 
release grace oh God move your people forward one two three take that grace now take that grace right now help them speed 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 shaparakata speed I command speed where you have been crawling start running start running start running where you have been running start flying start flying by prophecy start flying by prophecy start flying pursue overtake recover without fail i prophesy to you pursue overtake pursue overtake pursue overtake recover thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting my hand thank you for lifting 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 in two minutes i'd like you to thank god expressions of deep gratitude lord i thank you speak to him in your language expressions of deep gratitude thank you jesus i have prayed it my hands will handle it i have prayed it my hands will handle it i have prayed it my hands will handle it Hallelujah. 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 Please let me have your attention, everybody. There are people here right now. I'm going to make an altar call, two altar calls in one. Please, no moving around. Let's respect what God is doing now. There are people here. Probably you just came the first time you have been here. You have never truly made a commitment. Please listen. Don't be distracted, people outside. And many who are following us online, there are thousands of people following us online on our social media platforms. If you are here, please keep standing, everybody. I know we're tired, but let's keep standing to encourage them. There are people here who, whilst the service was going on as we were praying, the Holy Ghost was speaking to you and saying you need Jesus in your life. Listen, let me tell you something. Everybody is a product of God's grace and mercy. No man condemns you. But at the same time, he said, ye must be born again. Ye must be born again. Hallelujah. You are here, you've never made that commitment. Or at one point, you've made the commitment, but then for some reason, you found yourself living the things of God. You were angry at God. You were offended. Several things happened in your life. And you're saying, Lord, I'm coming back to you. Wherever you are, these two categories, it's my pleasure to lead you to Jesus. Please make it fast. Our time is gone. There are people outside. Koinonia, appreciate them. The Holy Ghost is speaking to them. Don't wait for anybody to come out. You are the first. Take that bold step and make your way to the front very quickly. Very quickly. Inside and outside, if there are people coming, clear the way for them. Very quickly. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. I believe there are still many more people. Make your way to the front. Those outside, in any of the overflows outside. Don't say I'm so far. That's the lie of the devil. You're welcome. Make your way to Jesus. Run to Jesus like there's fire on the mountain. God bless you. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. Shame on the devil. Win that war over your destiny tonight. And let him give you a new beginning. Let him give you a new beginning. Hallelujah. If you are still joining them, make your way. Those of us in front, thank you so much. I love you and I salute you for coming. Lift your right hand and say it after me. Very boldly, you are not reciting a poem. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you. And I believe in you. I believe that you are the Son of God. Tonight, I ask for your mercy. I ask for your grace. I receive Jesus into my heart as my savior 
and my Lord. And I declare that from today, I am a child of God. I'm saved. I'm washed by the blood. From today, the Lord gives me a new beginning. I am a member of the household of faith. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you so much for making this lovely decision. It's the greatest decision you will ever make in your life. Now, very quickly, there's a gentleman waving his hands. They are going to direct all of you. So please make sure you follow them and they'll have your details. They'll welcome you and then we'll get in touch with you. Thank you so much. We love you and congratulations.